Hello, I am Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. I'm Chris, also co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. And I made sure the mics were working tonight. If you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for daily updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on track. Thanks so much for joining us on our keto journey. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna check something really quick. Okay, I'm gonna say, hi Audrey. Ooh, hi Pam. I turned on the fan nice enough. That was weird. Yeah. <clears throat> hi anyway. Andrea, hi Betsy. <laughs> yep, hi everybody. Yeah, Becca was wondering if everyone else was here. Pam is here. Yep. Yep. So is, um, I don't know how to read Greek, so there you go. Um, let's see. Uh, Betsy is here as well, and Keto Life Granny. I think oh, you already said hi to all of them. That's okay. You should Pam say hi says, to them yep, too. Hello, Audrey. Uh, yeah, Audrey, not Aubrey. Mm -hmm. And Keto Life Granny says, yeah, I just left Dr. Barry's live. Where were they were going to go too long? Uh, Vicky's here from Arkansas. Hello, Vicky. Dr. Matre is here. Kim is here as well. Hi, Kim. Estuang. Hi, Estuang. And Shauna says hi, everyone. Rhiannon's hi. here. Hi, Rhiannon. Donna says, when you use the shakes to lose weight, did you put fat in them to dr or drink them without fat? That's, that's a, a great question. That's a really good question. Yep. So one thing we, we recommend that you use fat regardless because when you yep. do keto, you want to have fat so that you can teach your body how to use fat instead of using sugar. Yep. which is what we've been used to using. And then another reason why we suggest using fat is because the vitamins in keto chow are fat soluble. And so in order to absorb them, you need to have a little bit of fat with those. So the lowest amount of fat we recommend is 10 grams of fat, mm -hmm. which is like a tablespoon of butter, right? Yeah, it's about that. Yeah. Something like that. Um, and then you can do the shakes without fat. You could also have the shake without fat and eat something that had a little bit of fat in it, like some meat or yeah. tuna, butter, whatever. Yeah, something like that. Now, that all that said, the primary way to use keto chow is with an appropriate amount of fat for your particular needs mixed yes. into it. The only time when you would want to do keto chow with very, very little fat is for a specific reason, mm -hmm. yep. like you're doing protein sparing modified fast, or you're using it just for the protein or something like that. Mm -hmm. Cutting down the amount of calories super low is a terrible way to crash your metabolism and go into starvation mode. Yes, if you're eating other food at the same time, then that would be different. You'd be wanting to count that food with yep. your shake. But since it's a meal replacement shake, if you have just the meal replacement shake with no other food, you're probably not gonna be getting enough calories to be good for if you. If you do so it without the fat. You yeah. have to, I think you have to just be very careful uh, to know, know what you're doing make a choice that, okay, I'm using this without the fat because I'm eating this right with it at the same time, or I'm not having it as a meal replacement shake. I'm having it as a side thing with my food or mm -hmm. something like that. So, yep. So there, there you go. Yep. It's really versatile. You can do a lot of different things with it. Yep. You just need to decide how you're going to use it. Yep. So thanks um, for the question. Yeah. Mike says, hi, Chris. Hi, Mary. Hi. Uh, let's see. Betsy wants to know, did I get my hair cut? I got all of them cut. Mm-hmm. Even the ones right here. Did you cut this hair too? Uh, I did. It I trimmed it this morning. It looks a little shorter. Maria says hello from upstate New York. Uh, hello, Kellen, Maria. Michigan is here. Kim says I saw an article about Lake Mead being so low that, <laughs> and what they may find. Yeah, they found a. Yes. Uh, they found remains inside of a barrel. Sick, huh? We did not yep. see that, and it wasn't me. I promise. <laughs> okay, it says vessel of mercy. Oh, okay. I That's may remember cool. that. Visual Kilo says, hola bears. Hola. Uh, Sean says, I'm listening and trying to read. That that doesn't ever work. Yeah. Um, making a graduation gift for Wright family's daughter, Elizabeth. Oh yeah, she's graduating. She graduating? She's Kate's age. Oh, okay. We gotta get pictures taken. Donna mm. says, avocado oil. Avocado oil is a good is a good um, choice. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, so is like butter. Yeah, we like avocado oil because yeah. it has not very much flavor, so it's not gonna be overpowering. Yep. We like butter, but you have to melt it and then yes. use warm water so that it's a little bit warmer and than the, the butter. And a blender or an immersion blender, so it's a little bit more difficult, but we do like to do it that way. Speaking of which, so Elizabeth messaged us to ask, I made my okay. first shake last night using heavy cream. 
the powder mix and water place the ingredients in blender bottle with the shaker on the bottom mm -hmm. as soon as i started to shake the bottle the top blew off of a lot of the liquid what a mess no. is this common or did i do something wrong i'd like to prevent this in the future well i'd have to say pretty much everybody does that at least once a lot of times it's just because the top isn't close all the way. Yeah. Right? It also could be because you use too hot of water and the Bingo. pressure will build up and then it'll pop. Which was the problem. So okay. this was a question that came in on our website. Right. Our customer service team said, um, did you by chance use really hot water? Really and she hot said, water. Yes, I did. And, and, okay, that was the problem. Yep. Yeah. I've never had that happen with the hot water, but I could see how it would happen. I've never had it pop open because anytime I'm mixing up with warm, really, really warm mm -hmm. water, I vent the lid every couple of seconds. Yeah, I actually just twist the top a little bit. I don't like to do that because it gets in the threads. Anyway. Oh, does it? <laughs> I, I just figure it's easier than going It's hard, Stoing I have says, to use two thumbs to, yeah. to do the thing. It's okay. Yep. Stoing says, yeah, I was just gonna ask about your hair. Yeah. When well, this is good evening, all Hi, um, Hi, Wellman, Wellman is here. Uh, let's see, Shauna says, ooh, is Kate Bear going on the cruise? Yes, she yes, is. Yes, she is. She's going with on the cruise. With one of her friends. Mm -hmm. Reese says, I'm driving home, so ear hustling. That's okay. Be safe while you're driving. I was totally ear hustling during Two Crazy Keto's Keto on the Couch. Oh, yeah? I think I said one comment the entire time. I also did one comment. I was doing my hair. Uh, Betsy says, I got it. I have cheese in my, in my teeth. You do? Yep. Is it delicious? That's not what Betsy said, but I do have cheese <laughs> Betsy, in my teeth. Betsy, do you have cheese in your and teeth? And it was delicious. I, okay, we had some <laughs> leftover. We had some... Cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. and the kids don't like cheddar cheese. They don't cheese. like cheddar very much. But turns out if you make it into giant, I just threw it onto a cookie sheet and it broiled it. Delicious. And we had they those were little as taco, tiny taco shells. shells. <laughs> and so I had they some in great. my teeth, and it was great. Anyway, mm -hmm. Betsy says, I started my milk for yogurt in my Instant nice. Pot and forgot to put the starter in. No. I put it in later. Will it still work? Uh, how much later? Uh, yeah, it depends on how much later. We'll see. Because the problem is when you have it at that temperature, it's like a good incubation temperature yeah. for bacteria. Bacteria. And different bacteria is going to be, it's going to be competing to see who yep. wins. And that's why you want to use pa ultra pasteurized. Yeah. Um, be or you have to pasteurize it yourself to kill all the existing bacteria. Then add the cultures. Um, if you, it may or may not work. You we'll can always see. give it a try. It'll either make yogurt or it will make a putrid, disgusting mess. And you'll know it's bad because it'll you smell will. bad. <laughs> You'll be like, nope, try again. Good of Bryce here's a great evening, y'all. Hope Hi, you're Brian. having the bestest of weeks. I'm having... I hope so, too. Chris is on. <laughs> I am. I am having a day. <laughs> You're better than oh, you were a couple hours yeah, ago. Yeah, granted. Yes, I am. <laughs> I am having a day. I only have one more day until I'm leaving with Stephen Holly for yep. the Metabolic, Metabolic Health, Health Summit. Summit. And then we're going to party. Oh, I mean, okay. not party. But uh, yeah, I'm just... I, I'm having a day. So thanks, Brian. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> it's going to get better because you're going to sleep tonight. I sure hope so. I and you're going to get lots of stuff done I tomorrow. Go to sleep tonight. And you're going to just be okay with what you didn't get done. Yep. Uh, let's see. Wellman says, I've had the cap blow out a couple times. Learn that lesson. Oh, Well, yes. and not, not closing it all the way and mm -hmm. just getting it all over the place. Yeah. Did you see what happened to Serious Keto? No. Oh. So <laughs> he only shared it with his uh, members. Oh, but that's why. He was making mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And it was an immersion blender in a jar. Yeah. And he stepped away for a second, fell on the ground. Oh. All over the place. Mayo oh. everywhere. That's the He worst. said, my wife was really upset. He, and he's like, I was most upset about losing a, an entire cup of, of, of you have oil. Oh. Yeah. Uh, olive oil is yeah, what it was. Yeah, that's a lot. Anyway, Lashana's here. Um, let's see. Shauna says, I, yeah, I can make Kate Bear a grad gift too and give it to her. Oh, Don't tell. Okay, that would be so nice. Thank you. Speaking of Kate. So um, our, the kids, the youth in our church group mm -hmm. went to an activity tonight and they went over to a local ice cream joint afterward. Mm -hmm. And Kate called up and like, and she texts me and she's all, "Are you home? Do you want to bring me any ice cream?" And I'm like, "Well, <laughs> I can, I can ninja cream me a, a 
keto chow for you really quick or i think there might be a quest cookie somewhere and she's like that would be great yep so our other dad went her daughter yeah, took it over, over to, her. to her i thought that was cute yep um so i and i appreciate the, kate's she knows why she's doing keto she has found her why mm -hmm. and she sticks to it I just need to not eat as many treats. This is me. Anyway, me too. Me too. Stephanie says I like heavy cream and I mix it in a blender. Nice, Stephanie. That sounds mm. awesome. Mike says I noticed yesterday that your top four videos on YouTube total about 8 million views. Oh, that awesome. is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, let's see, Visual Kilo says, yeah, you get in the threads or a little spray from the cap. I'll take the spray every time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shana wants to know what colors of Kate Bears High School. Purple, Purple and silver. And silver. Because they're the silver wolves. And it's not, wolves. it's not a light purple. It's a dark purple. It is a dark purple. Uh, let's see. Which Wilma works says, out because so that's see her you favorite again. color. The cheese taco shells sound yummy. They were and so yummy. It worked a lot easier doing it that way. I was going to do them on the Blackstone. Mm -hmm. I always have... It's There's always this fine line between making crispy shells that just break apart and... Mm -hmm. Just making a giant pile of cheese that turns into a little pile of cheese yeah. when you try to flip it. And so I just put them on parchment, parchment paper. and broiled it in the oven. Yeah. And it worked like a charm. It was so great. You could have done it longer. It would be a little bit crispier, but it was still good. It actually was like the perfect temperature to just pick it up and fold around that little bit of ground beef. Yep. Kabul Bryce says, so is anyone going on the cruise bringing keto chow? I'm trying to figure out how I would mix it up. Mm. I personally am not going to be bringing any keto chow we'll on the bring, cruise. Well, I think we'll bring some to share, but... Well, yes, we'll bring um, some uh, to give away to people, but because they, they have, have all that the... that food included. You already paid for you it. You already paid for it. If it wasn't for the omelet bar, maybe yeah. I would reconsider. But at, at breakfast, usually away from the the area where people are eating there's a an area where they will make you an omelet yeah and you just say can i have butter with that because they'll use like yeah. margarine or something now to yeah it. they usually use like an oil now what on the last cruise we went on people would actually grab butter, butter from and, then walk and bring over it over to a, after like two days they just had they it. figured it out and they had yeah. a bowl of butter in the morning yeah, um, they were great for so us. Because I, I tend, when we're, when we're on the cruise, we tend to eat breakfast, and then we tend to eat dinner. Yeah. Well, sometimes we'd eat lunch if we didn't have, like, a, a the conference time or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but... But we don't always eat Yeah, so lunch. that's, that's personally what is, I'm going to be doing. you can snack all the time, so it's really hard to not to, so... Yeah, but I can say that I... Now, uh, Debbie, the lady who uh, runs the She's Locar amazing. Cruise, has been very specific that they don't want any people, they don't want any keto shaming, they don't want any keto yep. police, they don't want any of that. If you choose that you want to uh, indulge in stuff while on the cruise, hey, that's fine. I personally don't I want don't. the cruise to I be can't. defined by feeling, sick. feeling terrible. There's a reason that we do keto. Mm -hmm. And it's because we feel better. At least I know I sure do. And oh, so yeah. I don't like to go off because I don't like the way I feel. Um, and so I, I won't be eating stuff that isn't keto. They're, they have all you can eat bacon at, at the bar. So Yeah, and cheese and meat all over the place. Yeah. I think the only reason why I'd maybe want keto chow is because there's nothing really sweet that I could eat except for some berries. I think they have berries. Yeah. And they did berries and cream like for dessert a couple of times, but someone gave them a couple bags of swerve and they, yeah, made... they made a keto dessert. But yeah. I just have a hard time eating it when I don't know what's inside. Because yeah. <laughs> people who make keto desserts that aren't keto sometimes don't understand that honey or whatever yes. is not. Oh, this is normal. Everything is wonderful. I put cornstarch in it. I put this uh, sweetener in it instead of sugar, but I also yeah. had honey and cornstarch and yeah, whatever. So. Uh, Maurice is on the yogurt question. Bring it up to a boil, then let it cool before adding the starter in. Oh, okay, there, there we you go. go. Swang says, I had such a hard time at the beginning of last week. Last night, I kept waiting for your live notification. Last week, I thought it was 2KKs live on Tuesday night. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Dang. Yep. I'm sorry you had um, a hard time. I'm glad you're here with us. Yeah, and Marie says, that way you can kill off any unwanted strains of bacteria yeah. first. So I wonder, Marie, if she took it right now, even though she already put the bacteria in, if she boiled it, if she put... More starter in? Well, if you put if you already put the starter in, yeah, you probably don't want You to might as well just let it go. Boil it. Yeah. But um, 
Because, I mean, you could, you, you could, could boil pasteurize it, it. And then add more starter. You would have to add more again. starter, yes. Yeah, so you, you could probably do that and save it. Yep. Or you could just wait and hope for the best. Wait, Nan is here, and so is Exchange Hi, Student. Nan. Uh, let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Hi, Suzanne students. says, Hi, peeps. I hope everyone is doing good. I'm good. How are you I'm doing? Fighting crime and saving lives. Wait. Yes. <laughs> I'm doing well also. John says, I love purple. Have you seen my hair? I have. Mm -hmm. um, I know that's your favorite color, too. It's Kate's let's favorite see. color. see. Visual Kiosk says, Ooh, I love those colors. Uh, let's see, Lynn says, I hope everyone is having a nice night. Yeah. Uh, Tanya is here. <gasps> Tanya, hi. Says, hey, gang. How's how is everyone doing this how evening? How is your leg? How is your foot doing? I'm just wondering. Is it footy? Is it footy? Is it footy pajamas? Is it a... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a raccoon outfit that a teenager is wearing Running to in lacrosse. Their lacrosse. Okay, so we just went to a <laughs> um, track is. competition for Ruth. She was throwing. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know, 50 degrees here. It's sunny. It's nice. Right now it's 44 and sunny. It's windy and it's cold. It must have been about 38. It wasn't that cold. I don't know. It, in the wind. It was really cold though. We're standing anyway. out there and Chris didn't bring a jacket. Nope. <laughs> he has his shorts and his t-shirt on. Just That's why he's still like wearing a, a jacket. He's trying to thaw out. I got so we cold. did cold therapy outside at the field today. Uh, anyway, and so there are all these girls in like snuggies, the big snuggies, yeah. <laughs> throwing for their... Uh, their event, doing and then there was the whole discus. team of lacrosse players that were just doing laps were doing, yeah, back and back forth. forth. And one of them was in an entire, like, I don't know, it wasn't a raccoon it looked, suit. It was it like, like a, a tanuki suit. Yeah, that's exactly it was what hilarious. it was. It was very funny. I, I love that you knew exactly what I was getting to <laughs> I'm like, when I started. <laughs> funny anyway we laughing so uh, let's see ba -ba -bum. let's see people talking them back and forth about mm. the uh the yogurt swung says i seem to be on track for my lives wednesday thursday friday and sunday mm. so then says my yogurt turned out great this time thanks for all the hints and tips uh, Brian says, I'm liking the idea of an omelet bar for sure. Yes. I think I'll leave it behind this time or bring a few that I have for the three or four days we're there before the cruise. Yeah, no, that's a really that's a good, good idea. idea. And I, I know a lot of people actually are bringing keto chow to use as creamer in their coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't drink coffee, so I don't think that yeah. way. But yeah, uh, but yeah, that's it's really nice. And like I said, there's not anything that's sweet that I can have because I'm not going to make my keto dessert. And I... I don't need to, I don't want to bring treats because I don't want to have snacks. So I'm like trying to separate yes. myself from all of those things. And so I'm, I'm not going to bring it so that I don't sabotage myself. And if I know I can't eat it, I just won't. So. Yep. Mike says you can only be keto police if you graduated from the keto police academy. And that's right. And you display your, your badge. So they had a uh, mm, costume thing last time. And Jessica and who else? Oh, they were dressed so up funny. as keto police. The keto evangelist uh, ladies was so funny. were the keto police. Yep. I wonder if I can find that picture and send it to you. Debbie says, sorry I'm late, but so I cute. made it. Oh, Debbie, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Brian says, uh, Karen is hoping they have a steak bar on the cruise. No, but what no. you can do, if you've never been on a cruise, mm -hmm. and for all of you who aren't going on the cruise or aren't interested in this, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. It's boring. But if you ever go on a cruise, mm -hmm. be aware that when you go to the dining area um, for dinner at night, you can ask for as many of the entrees as you like. Mm -hmm. So you can get three or four shrimp cocktails. Yep. And guess who's going to be bringing keto tomato, I mean, keto ketchup and keto and horseradish. horseradish sauce? Me. It's so funny because you're like, I pull out. He has don't, this suit don't. on on the formal night and he pulls his horseradish and ketchup out of his pocket, like, <laughs> <laughs> because you can ask for multiple of the, of the things. And, and you can ask them if they can leave the sides off, but usually they're just going to bring the, like if, if the, if it's a New York steak yeah. for that night, you're like, and I would like three of the New York steaks. And they're like, okay, please with none of the sides. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they can accommodate that. Sometimes the kitchen is just like, they're just tossing yeah, they them just out. they just bring it and you just leave, you just it's like, it over. Well, leave it. 
I guess these this potatoes it will be fed to the fishes, or yep. I don't know. And that's okay because they've already yep. accounted for all that food, and they're willing to give you whatever you want. And it's their job to accommodate you. It's not like a regular restaurant. You've already paid for all the food up front. Yeah. And their job is just to take care of you. They're so great. You get the same server every single night. You get the same people that come to your room every night, and they just are super kind and great. They were so fun with the kids. They're like. Samuel, Samuel. Well, because a lot of them are from Malaysia <laughs> well, and or from the Philippines. And not even that, but they're from all over the world. Yeah, all over and the so world. And so you get to learn, learn about different cultures just from the different um, people that are serving you that are just working on the boat. Yep. So it's, it's super fun. Okay, Pam says all you can eat bacon sounds awesome. They probably mm -hmm. lose money with the keto group. <laughs> yeah. Possibly. They <laughs> seem is, to be very kind, though. Yeah. Laurie's here, but late. Late, Hi, but Lori. here. Hi, everyone. Glad you're here. Uh, Sean says, did someone call Royal Caribbean and tell them to order extra bacon? They have yeah. so much, it's not even a problem. They, they the, have plenty. The group who is there for the low-carb cruise is a small percentage mm -hmm. of the people who are there on the cruise. So. Yep. Welvin says, I bought a Ninja Creamy to make ice cream. It's okay. Kind of loud. Yes, it's very loud. Yeah, it is loud. But I'm finding I like my regular keto chow better right? than the uh, than the ice cream at the time. Wow. That's interesting. That's so funny. And you know what? Sometimes you feel like it and sometimes you don't. Yep. And that's just fine. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Sean says, yay, lacrosse. Well, Mrs. Bacon and Butter makes a better world. Right? Right. Uh, let's see. Mad Sacks is celebrating my birthday with keto chow, chocolate, yes. and peanut butter creamy tonight. You ready? Delicious. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Mad for Sacks. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. <laughs> yeah, says, Mad for Sacks. I forgot the middle name. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> Tony says the foot is good and I'm and still attached, which is always a positive, right? Oh, yeah. Doctor yes. says I'm healing amazingly for three weeks. So many people say it will take forever to heal. They did not have keto superpowers. Superpower. And especially since you went on a couple of trips, like yeah. trips are even harder on your body. And so I'm super proud of you that you're doing so well. Yep. Uh, Sean says, oh, I really need someone to get this lid off my E6000 blue. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you use a bottle? Uh, you know what I use? Bottle cap opener. I just use a, uh, the E6000 is like a tube, right? I just use uh, pliers. I just take oh, pliers okay. and put on the top of the glue and then twist like this. Because then you get more leverage. Because okay. I can't get it off either. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle says, uh, support a land local rancher, Sweet Home, Oregon. Tonight for dinner, they raise beef and sell a burger bacon ground Ooh, mix. Oh, delicious. What the heck? With your powers combined, it is burger bacon. Yay. Throw some cheese in there, too. Super heck yummy yes. bacon cheeseburger bowls. Michelle, oh, that's you awesome. you got it figured out, girl. Uh, Jeremy says, good morning. Good morning. Sure. It's, it's, it's morning somewhere, right? It is. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Um, Tanya says, yeah, finally the word to know, Kabul Rai. Mm -hmm. Finally the world will know. The world will know. I totally heard it in my head before you even started. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and they'll find, mm -hmm. see, finally see dun, what dun, stop dun, the press dun, means. Dun. Uh, mm -hmm. Cynthia says, I'm late, but here. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, Tony says, yeah, well, it got the lid off. Okay. Um, Shauna wants to know, want to know if they will give us a carb dump plate. Um, usually, oh, yeah, you, you just leave it on the plates. The we yeah. did that, though, because we had all these kids. So one of the kids would have an extra plate floating around somewhere. So we would we just dump our stuff. Because yep. sometimes it really is easier if it's not even on my plate, right? Oh, so yeah. if, if they put fries on my plate, it would be difficult for me. What was it? Oh, it was the cheese plate. One of the appetizers oh, you could yes! ask for, it and was a selection plate. of cheese and... Yeah, what, is, what was it? It was like cheese and nuts and fruit, I think. Yeah, I think Because I know there were always grapes. It. And I always, I'm like, but thanks like for the grapes. But it's like grapes. So we and just take a, and put that There was the always a giant right? block of blue cheese and I'd go, yes. yeah. And I would eat that. That's what Haley got every every time she got a cheese plate because she was doing keto too. I would get two or three cheese plates and mostly just and eat And I would just Swiss. eat all the blue cheese. <laughs> That's what I'd like to save and put in my cabin. Like, yeah, Tony says I don't, didn't want to admit it, but yeah, FOMO kicking in. Dang it. Aww. Jessica is here. Um, let's see. Chris Hi, Jones is here. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris Jones. Uh, Swang says, I always order multiple dishes on cruises, and they're so accommodating. They never really give are. me the judgy looks like when I go to a regular yeah. restaurant. And it's because 
that's their job. Like, they just do a great job. Also, they've probably seen it all at this point. Mm hmm. Um, LaShawn says, I'm loving Kyo Chow's a pudding. Nice. Mead Rock Breaker is here. Heck yes. Jedi says, I got a three day pass for Universal Studios Florida since we'll be there for three days before the cruise. Nice. nice. We got the two day pass when we went. You guys are going to be tired and sunburned before you even get on the boat. <laughs> You're not kidding. Uh, I let's wish see. we could come too. We just can't take our kids out of school that long. They've got to yeah, it's, it's, gotta finish. It's school. a week and a half before graduation. Sure. I know. I hope she's okay. Sheesh. Anyway, uh, Shauna says, I got it, Miriam, with the pliers. Nice. Um, let's see. <laughs> Kilo Granny says, in great. Head, now it's in my head. In, in my head. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Ah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that song takes me back to my senior year of oh. high school. Ryan says, I'm actually prepping my weekly keto chow while watching you all. Yes. Nice. Jessica says the cheese plate is amazing. Right? The only problem with the cheese plate is it would be better if I had a little blowtorch and I could melt it. Yes. Wouldn't that be amazing? Let's ask for a blowtorch. They would... Uh, I don't know if they would melt it. Because, look, mm. cheese is amazing. Now, Joe recognizes... Joe of Crazy Kids the recognizes cheese is that amazing. He has a problem with cheese. I also have a problem with cheese. But the best thing to do with cheese is to melt it. And eat it with a fork. Yeah, it's okay. Also, add like, some I'm, salt on top. Like, salt. I think the first time I did one salt. meal a day, Omad, mm. I came home from, I was, I was working a booth at a conference. And mm -hmm. I got home, and I just wanted to crash. But I hadn't eaten all day. Mm -hmm. And so I went, and I, we had a thing of Jalsberg cheese, the, mm -hmm. the, Swiss the Swiss cheese. So I sliced it up. Stuff. Into a little, and then cubed it, mm -hmm. microwaved it until it was soft, mm -hmm. and ate probably, I don't know, Half 10 of ounces it. of cheese. <laughs> That's a lot. With an avocado. Oh, I would totally do the that. The whole meal. avocado. I've done that And that before. was my Just entire meal the avocado for the and day. A million miles of salt. <laughs> like, that's the best meal ever. Oh, cheese also plate. with bacon on it. Bacon, avocado, Swiss cheese. That's Shana all I need. Would like to remind us that ships are for napping. Right? <laughs> anyway. Alan uh, says, what is the name of the cruise line? So the the one that we're... Well, here, well let it's me just... It's Royal Caribbean. If you go to lowcarbcruiseinfo.com. And we've been on it. This will be our third time, right? Yep. Oh, go new website. Sorry. New website. Lowcarbcruise.com. So, yeah, there's information here. and it, It's so much Royal fun. Caribbean. Where, when, who. Yeah, and the thing is, you're like rubbing shoulders with Maria Emmerich. And and the, and the since you're... Now, Ken and Nisha aren't going to be not, able to make it. No, they're not coming. I think a lot of it has to I do with the fact that... I think it's because they're having that, a baby. Yeah. So... I want those earrings. Can I have them? No, you can't. Please? Uh, Mike says, I love that song. And he says, wow, now I want the cranberries. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Jones says, Chris and Miriam, I want some of what you're having. <laughs> Uh, Teddy says, I wish, I wish, I am so clipping Chris and Miriam singing that song and playing it on a loop. <laughs> Marianne talks about the uh, body they found in the barrel. I know, of Lake Mead. it's freaking me out. I did find that. I, I did hear about that. That actually happened near the dam. It was on the other side of the lake. Way far away from where we were. But we're scuba diving in that lake. Ew. Yep. Ew. <laughs> Miriam says, what if, now I don't want to go scuba diving because what if what I find if a I dead find body? body? And I'm like, no, no, the, the problem wasn't scuba diving. The problem was taking a leisurely stroll on the beach. That's how somebody found it. Because so don't, it was on the don't, beach. Don't walk on the beach. <laughs> Gross. John says, I love cheese. I don't have a problem. Yeah, Keyleth Grant says, I'm a people watcher on cruises. I'm happy just sitting there drinking a cool drink and right? watching. Right, and just soaking up the vitamin D. Oh, now, so nice. you know what I'm looking forward to on the cruise? What? The flow rider. Oh, you think you can do it? I think you can do it. No, that's too embarrassing. You surfed this I weekend. Know, but people were helping me. Yeah, guess what? There. Well, last time there was a very nice lady from England. Who was helping people? Yeah, she got all mm -hmm. of our children and me standing up on but the surfboard. I don't want anybody to see what I look like in a swimming suit. Well, you wear your funny legging things. Okay. Uh, you give me $100 and I'll try it. I already gave you $100. More. 
Mead says, y'all need to try queso flamedo. Melted try. cheese with chorizo. Chorizo. I could totally go for that. That sounds amazing. Uh, Sky says, I'm finally able to log in. Better Sky. than Nathan Lever. Yay, glad you're here. Uh, J-Dog says, I don't have a problem with cheese. I really only like it melted. Otherwise, I don't care for the flavor. Yes, it's kind of my mostly aversion to dairy growing up. No milk, butter. Really? Mm. Wow, okay. Kay says, I'm team creamy. Heck I only yes. want keto chow creamy and nothing else. I put in earplugs and wear headphones. <laughs> my husband gave up his Rebel ice cream for wow. keto chow creamy. Keto chow for the... That's yes. awesome. Yeah, it's Sky yeah, it talks about queso fundido. Yep, there mm -hmm. you go. Uh, lots of people talking to Sky. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Let's see. This is Miriam. I'll do Flow Rider if you will. Okay, I'll do it with you. Okay. But uh, I'm going to fall. Don't make fun of me, okay? Okay. So we had a lot of questions this week about the rewards program. Okay. With, uh, on the Keto Chow site. Um, so for those of you who don't know, mm -hmm. down in the bottom corner. Oh, my gosh. Close that. Can you see? Can you see? There we go. Sharing? Yes, you down are. in the bottom corner is this little rewards guy. Yep. And it pops up. And when you sign in, now I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. But when you sign in, it puts a code right, right here. There. It's yeah. literally a gift card. that And it allows you to spend your rewards points like a gift card on our site. Mm -hmm. So when you're going to check out, there is a little gift card box that you can enter stuff in. Right. Okay, so how do you apply rewards? You, you take that code. Now, the, again, the reason I didn't show it was because if I showed it on this live stream... You would be able to take that code and use it and spend it to buy keto chow. Mm -hmm. And I've actually, ex I, I, we use that account to test the website yep. to make sure it's so working. So there's lots of rewards in there. <laughs> there's like three thousand dollars <laughs> worth of rewards in it. So just because I can assign any number I want. Anyway, so yeah, you use it in the checkout um, to let's see, let's see. I'll just. Put one in here really quick. Oh, wow. Start get some bundles. Do it. Well, and the question is also, can you use a discount code and a gift card at the same time? So, for instance, the essentials. If you've never bought it before, you can use that coupon code. Okay. And there it is. And since the coupon code is not the same as a gift card, you can use it at the same time. You so you can just totally use copy it. and paste that gift card number and put it in that section right there where it says gift card. What is that capital one thing? It's a shopping thing. Silly, I have a capital silly. one card. Uh, and then put it right into there yeah. and it'll show up. So it'll look, it'll have two things underneath mm -hmm. with the little X. The little you can actually things. use store rewards mm -hmm. or store credit or a gift card. And you can actually use multiple multiple of them at the same time. Okay, so like if somebody bought you a yep. gift card and you had a rewards that, that was also a gift card, then you could essentially do the three because you'd had yes. a coupon code. Right, okay, that's okay. cool. Okay, now um, another question becomes, what about with subscriptions? Can you, well, let's, let's answer the first question. Okay. Do you earn rewards on a subscription? <laughs> I thought you were going to say more words. No, I was on going to. Subscription. On subscription orders. Yeah. Yes, yes. You can earn yeah. rewards on subscription orders. Yep. So, and and it what subscriptions are is it's just, there's a it's server order off to the side is what that it says it keeps track of what you want and places an order on your behalf. It says, do that again, But it's a please. regular order. Do that again. And so you, if you have an account, which mm -hmm. setting up a subscription, you pretty much have an account. Yeah. You will earn rewards. Now, can you pay for a subscription with rewards? So, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, okay. you can put it in when you first do your subscription and pay for it. The first one. But then you would still have to put your credit card information in because once the rewards are gone, they're gone. Yeah. So, it's like you're doing two payments, just yeah. like you would at the grocery store if you had a gift card and then you needed to pay the rest. So, you can re use the rewards for the first one, mm -hmm. but the subsequent ones, it won't. Yep. Okay. Unless you canceled your subscription and then did it again. And we really, really like uh, the My Child subscription. 
because you can change the date to anything you want. So really you could have a running subscription. It's the best way you can get a discount. The surprise is 20% off. The fifth, the, the build your own, my chow, is 15% off. So those are the best discounts you can get. So yep. if you're not subscribed to one of those uh, my chows, you probably should because it's great. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian says, Karen is seriously planning on the floater writer for sure. I haven't found her practicing balancing on an ironing board propped up on a bowling ball yet. But there's a still a few days. I occurs. know, right? Well, she could probably do that on the back of a horse. That woman could do anything. <laughs> yeah, if you can surf a horse, you can surf a flow rider. Yeah. Sky says, oh, good, content. <laughs> I don't know, honey. Like, how... I think you're going to do great. How is it different? Like, how do you get up? How do you stand up? Now I have to research it. Okay. Pat says, I like to bake up ultra-thin cheese slices for crackers. I put salt on top. Oh, that's nice. good. Nice. That's one thing I forgot to do tonight was put salt on the cheese. I know. I uh, Jerry salt says, on my plate. Uh, keto, keto chow creamy is our mostly daily evening meal for Patty. Yes. She loves it so much. I do too, but she's addicted. She's adorable. <laughs> Tell her hi for us. Oh, well, LaShawn says, mm -hmm. be careful on the surfer or a cruiser tore his rotator cuff on that thing. Oh, yeah, over yeah. And, over. and you well, don't want to get hurt on a cruise. It costs a fortune. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, anywhere. Um, I'm sure you could do that anywhere, though. Not just on the cruise. <laughs> Jerry says, if you have a gift card, is there also a JPEG card Aww, available? No, but uh, there's a PNG uh, 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 because it uses better compression technology. You only use JPEGs for uh, continuous tone images, like boring. a photograph. If you have artwork or illustration, you always want to use PNG. Come on. Always, always. Sky says, oh, cool. I just spent some moolahs, so and next time I'll have some to spend. Yes. Yep. Marie says, Betsy, I think on my Instant Pot model, I have to push the yogurt button two times to skip the boil step. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Ours doesn't do the boil step. It just... Yeah. LaShawn says, I don't know. show me your code, Chris. Yeah, show us the code. <laughs> Sky says, creamy equals cult. You know I'm just kidding you all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Uh, Wilma says, I'm planning on making some more creamies, but right now, as I mm -hmm. say, I'm enjoying just a plain old keto chow chocolate shake. So if it's Maybe I'll not use the broke, creamy shake function this weekend. Don't fix it. And if I... If I Prepare it ahead of time. So good. I will. I'll totally make a creamy if I can remember. Mm -hmm. But there's a reason we made keto chow. It's because it's super, super easy. Um, let's see. Ba ba ba. Rosa says we need your code, Chris. Show mm. it. It's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Mary says I'm addicted to the chicken soup. I wish it was available all year. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. For, you just gotta buy a bunch when it's For right now, available. we do have the individual. Yeah, packets. we do still have some. Just not the big bag. Uh, Jerry says the best discounts this side of the Pecos River. Yeah. This guy says imagine managed to find Fair Life at Starter Brothers oh, Day. Oh, that's good. I walked in and the shelf was empty. Hollered at the dairy guy, and he was in the cooler unpacking the shipment. Yes. <laughs> Bought four of them. Nice. That's awesome. Jimmy says, I've not seen you before, so what are you guys actually talking about with keto? A variety of things. Right now, we're mostly talking about the keto cruise. Well, the low-carb cruise. Mm -hmm. um, but we are talking about keto chow, which is, if you're brand new here, a nutritionally complete meal replacement designed to make doing keto easy. Yep. You don't have to use it, but you can if you want to. Yep. Absolutely. You can eat meat and cheese and bacon. It's yeah, it's not to replace your steak. It's to mm -hmm. replace your steak, you are eggs done camping broccoli. and you're driving home and you just want something you can have in the in the car. In the car. Mm -hmm. Which is what we did on Sunday. Yep. We yeah, it was I, it I was had the chocolate, great. everyone else had chocolate peanut Thank butter. Thank heavens you had the chocolate. That was nice for took you one to for take the team. one for the team. <laughs> Chocolate's great. <laughs> <laughs> we all wanted the chocolate peanut butter. And I'm like, oh, Dennis said he wanted chocolate yep. peanut butter too. Well, Mrs. Miriam nailed it. If they ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep. Uh, Swank says, I'm still doing at least one Ninja Creamy a day. Haven't burnt it out yet. Might not until fall or winter. Hopefully. Uh, and Jean says, can you tell us about your product, please? I'm not familiar with you guys. So, and again, yeah, it's, I started a keto diet and I was one? having a hard time getting the right nutrition. I'm not sure that we have, oh, there is a bag of them. I think I put it on the bed. There was a whole bag of them that we took. It's around here somewhere. Somewhere. Um, you keep heck? talking. Yeah. I'll look for it. Anyway, um, so when I started a keto diet, I was having a hard time getting the right nutrition. 
and I'm also excessively lazy. Um, and so I wanted to come up with a way to replace the stupid meals. Not where you're sitting down with the family, but where there, literally, there is a bag around here somewhere. I'll find it. It might be just on the ground right here. Miriam? I didn't see it. Oh, there's a bag. Okay. Um, anyway, so I came up with a, a recipe for a shake that you mix up with your choice of fat. And turns out that other people wanted the same thing. So peanut butter. There's, there's peanut butter. We've got a lemon meringue in there, too. Lemon meringue. We have 30-something flavors, so. Oh, I dropped it. Chocolate. Chocolate. They also it's come fantastic. in a bigger bag, so you can just use a scoop, and that's a little bit less expensive. Yep. Um, I think. As Sky points out, you can also it. make it into pudding, mm -hmm. having a blast adding them to Keto Angel Food Cake. Yes. Summer cool. So cool. Wellman says Keto Chow lets me eat good fats. And, and that's another very important thing is you mix it up with water and your choice of fat. Mm -hmm. You can use the type of fat and the amount of fat that you want. One person may use a half cup of heavy cream. Other people may use a quarter cup of heavy cream or two tablespoons of bu melted butter. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they want to use coconut oil. It allows you to really customize what you're doing as far as fats and getting mm -hmm. the right nutrition. Yep. We're using the right kinds of vitamins. So vitamin D3, mm -hmm. methylated folate, all that sort of fun K2. stuff. K2. And it really comes down to that Miriam and I use this. Mm -hmm. We actually made the product for our own use. Yep. And so we're not just th trying to make money off of suckering people into something. Yep. And the reason why we do these live streams is because we like to sit and talk to people and just enjoy um, talking with our keto fam and, and really yep. um, enjoying conversation with everybody. So thank you for talking and thank you for asking those questions. Absolutely. Jerry says, I'm thinking of getting a backup Ninja Creamy ice cream machine. I can't afford to have a machine mm -hmm. go down. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Babu says, I just placed my first order. Waiting not so impatiently. Yes. Hopefully we get there pretty quick. He says, sorry I'm late. I got caught up watching a new show. You're watching your stories? Yay. <laughs> How fun. I'm glad you got to chill out. Uh, let's see. Jessica says, putting ice cream, tons of different types of cookies, cakes, mm -hmm. cakes or biscuits. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Show well, them Well, for that matter, site. if you go to our website. Which is keto, so keto chow chow XYZ. XYZ. And you go mm -hmm. to kitchen and then recipes. It'll bring up this page. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of recipes. Uh, you, can, you can look uh, it up by flavor, or you yep. can look it up by a cookie, or you can look it up by... There's a lot of desserts because a lot, most of the keto chow is a sweet, a sweet flavor. Yep. But there's a lot of fun other things, too. And we have regular recipes, too. It's fun. Indeed. Fun. Um, Michelle says, yep, right nutrition. After my stroke, I did keto wrong. Mm. By not enough protein, ended up malnourished. Oh, yeah. Keto chow literally changed and saved my life. Well, oh, thanks. I'm so glad it was helpful. Sky says, one of the most important features are the flavors, which are so versatile. Check mm -hmm. out the recipes. It makes more than ice cream, despite what all those creamy people tell you. Yeah. Sky had problems getting the Ninja Creamy. Oh, to it takes work a while. Like, I'm, well, he, I think he ended up returning curve. the creamy. Oh, darn it. Which is okay. We can still be friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ryan says, and it tastes fantastic. Uh, let's see. Lance says, keto chow is awesome when you work long hours mm -hmm. or are too busy to cook or when you just want something that tastes amazing. You can make them and mm -hmm. put them in the fridge up to six days. Yeah, mixed. So we like to, on Sunday night, like just mix a whole bunch and then throw them in the fridge. And then as we go throughout the week, we just grab them to go. Yep. Uh, Jerry, Jerry says, I'm not only the president, I'm also a client. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm just thinking of UHF. It's like uh, when he's talking about spatula city, he's like, hi, I like I their spatula, spatula so much. So much. I, bought I bought the company. The company. <laughs> <laughs> spatula city. The spatula word is city. here. Ready set keto hi, says Shelly. hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rhonda says good evening bears and chow fam. Thank you all for your love and prayers. I really appreciate oh, it. So Thank you so much, Miriam, Chris, and Lynette for your love and generosity. Love you guys so much. We it's good to too. see you, Rhonda. I hope you're doing okay. How's your heart? Uh, Wellman says, I'm still watching a Keto Salt Lake conference. Oh, There's yes. so many nuggets. Thank you for putting all that out there for us. That's awesome. You are very welcome. Uh, let's see. Pam points out Keto Chow waffles are good as well. Are great as well. Yes. 
Yeah, yes, they oh, are. the chaffles. So the, uh, to make the chaffles, we're mixing three eggs, a half cup, or no, one cup of shredded mozzarella, mm -hmm. and one cup of keto chow. Well, not a cup of keto chow, a scoop of keto chow. A scoop, of, thank you. <laughs> and mixing that up, and you're yep. putting about a tablespoon into one of those little dash. Yep, and we have mini. five of them, and so we just make, keep making them till the end of the Wait, world. Where do we get five? We actually have seven, <laughs> but two are at work. Okay. <laughs> Linda says, hi guys, I made it, welcome. Yep, Shana points out pre-cruise shenanigans are in seven days, 23 hours, mm -hmm. 59 minutes. This guy says, yep, different strokes. I love my ice compressor ice cream maker and it does keto yep. chow ice cream perfectly. And we still have one of those and it's amazing. Yep, exposing darkness is here. Uh, let's see. Betsy says, guys, I don't know. I didn't know you had a compressor. I'm going to quit feeling sorry for you. Okay. <laughs> so he says, I can't eat cheese. What can I use instead? I can have cream cheese. Will that work? I so guess. for the for the chaffles, it might. We've That's done a, we've done that before. I would just use cream cheese and keto chow and yeah. eggs. It'll it'll still be great. Yep. It, it may be like a thinner, not quite so like bread like, more like an actual waffle. So don't do it. Okay, we had a really good question from Zyda. Okay. So I just received my kit today, but I concern, I'm i concerned about the total sugar oh, okay. in the nutrition. Um, with my supervised program, I cannot have any sugars except for sweeteners, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure what, that, what she means by mm -hmm. that. Uh, what kind of sugar makes up the 0.75 grams of sugar? So I'm guessing... And you'll be right that it's the the casein in the milk yeah it's the lactose the, it's the lactose sorry mm -hmm. it's the it's the milk sugars that's the only sugar that's in there because we are anti-sugar yeah and, and that 0.75 mm -hmm. grams now that's in the majority of the sweet flavors mm -hmm. and we're using um milk protein isolate for the protein and uh, 0.75 grams per like 27 grams of protein, mm -hmm. is about the smallest amount that you, you can, can get. get. Um, and that is a sugar. Mm -hmm. And so for absolute transparency, we yep. have it on the nutrition panel as, well, it rounds up to less than one gram yeah. of total sugar. So we could not put it on there. Well, because it's more than 0.5, it has to oh, round right, right. up. To one. But you can put less than one. Right. That is legally allowed. But it is the lactose, yeah. Yes. I'm sorry, I said casein. It, I got no, mixed that's, up. It's in the casein. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's the answer to that. And that also answers the question of if you're lactose intolerant, can you use keto chow? Mm -hmm. Depends on your tolerance. Yep. Um, if you're okay with cheese... You, Most of the time you're okay with You're probably going to be okay with keto chow. If you're a bit more sensitive and cheese is like, eh, you may need to use mm -hmm. lactate. Or another, ah, thank you. Another pill uh, and what's it called? Lactose treatment thing, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> what are they called? <sighs> I can't remember now. Supplement. Um, he says, I hear someone has a pretty, ta uh, pretty awesome barbecue sauce that uses the Kyoto yeah, creamy I hear tomato that. basil. Hungry Heath does. Yes, Hungry Heath has a mm -hmm. recipe that uses the creamy tomato That's basil so as, a, as an ingredient. So he says, okay, thank you. I love chaffles. Uh, Jerry says, multiple dash waffle chaffle makers. That's why I got the big dash. It's four big waffles yes. and uses one power outlet. So that's a big I saver know, for I know. I just need to do that. But we have so the little we already. So we already have them. Uh, Lori says, I found a Cuisine Art ice cream maker at a secondhand store for $10. <gasps> yes, Lori. That's, that's the awesome. best. I love a deal. Jeannie says, I've been put on pure therapeutic ketones for a month now. And having diarrhea all the time is oh, also very no. expensive. Do your products put you in ketosis okay that's a great question so the the whole thing about pure therapeutic ketones our bodies are very mm. very capable of producing ketones and they are capable of producing them at therapeutic levels mm -hmm. you do have to be careful about what you're eating yeah and you may need to use some coconut oil as well um, our product does not contain lab-made ketones. Yes. Um, or exogenous ketones or natural ketones. They, you're, we, we prefer that you are using your own ketones 
instead of ones made in a lab. Um, so it does not contain ketones. What it is is it's conducive to a well-formulated ketogenic, meaning makes ketones, mm -hmm. ketogenic diet. Because ketosis just means you're burning ketones. And that's, this is a, a, a terrible analogy. Mm -hmm. But if, do you guys remember the um, HCG diet? Mm -hmm. They were literally giving um, human coronarogonadotrophin mm -hmm. um, hormones to people and then putting them on a severely calorie restricted diet. Yes. If you were a man and you were on the HCG diet and you took a pregnancy test, it would say you were pregnant because you were taking those exogenous hormones and then you were peeing them out and it would show you as pregnant. Taking exogenous ketones, you are in ketosis. By, ketones. You're literally in ketosis. The, the absolute definition of it, because you are burning ketones. That does not mean you're generating that ketones. That doesn't mean you're making ketones. And it's, it's more than I really want to get into in this format where we're in the live stream. But one of the problems with taking ketones is our body produces three ketones. Mm -hmm. There's beta-hydroxybutyrate. Um, acetate. Acetoacetate, acetoacetate and acetone. And, Thank you. Yeah. I, I was like... I'm pulling a blank here. <laughs> All three of those are present when you are producing ketones. Mm -hmm. And if you only have one of them and you don't have the other three you, and you also don't have higher amounts of glucagon, mm -hmm. which is the opposite of insulin, beta-hydroxybutyrate is a signaling molecule. It actually tells your body to do stuff. And that is what is in the exogenous ketones. Is yeah, beta-hydroxybutyrate. Beta beta yeah. And having that signaling molecule, uh, that signal coming, telling your body to do stuff without all of the other physiological stuff that's mm -hmm. supposed to come with it is an unnatural state for human metabolism. And it's really not a good thing unless mm -hmm. you are treating a neurological condition where high amounts of ketones are therapeutic, like a traumatic brain injury mm -hmm. or Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's epilepsy, epilepsy, depression. In which cases, if, if you aren't better. able to get your ketones up n naturally by moderating your diet, mm -hmm. using exogenous ketones can be a very powerful tool. But there's not a lot of research on what it does to humans over an extended period of time. I'm not going to get into the left-handed and right-handed, you know, curality and racemic that, mixtures. That is a thing, though. That's, that's a, a completely different subject. Mm -hmm. But So to answer your question, it doesn't put you into ketosis, but it allows your body to naturally enter a state of ketogenesis and ketosis, and it doesn't get in the way... And you can also eat a bunch of meat and mm -hmm. delicious stuff like that. So, and and I had a question, Jeannie. Yeah. Did your doctor put you on ketones? Because there's a lot more to the puzzle that we just don't have that information for. As, yep. So that's that's our opinion and the things that we have learned. But that doesn't mean that it's exactly the right thing for you. So yep. that's and especially another, again, if you're questions. treating a neurological condition, coconut oil, is coconut oil can, or MCT oil. MCT. And, and I can understand that, yeah, it could give you, taking exogenous mm -hmm. ketones could absolutely give you the runs. Yep. Um, eating so. too much fat can give you the runs. Eating too much fruit could give you the runs. Like, there's a lot it's of true. different uh, factors. Yeah, I would probably eat more meat. That is, that's also a really good way to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Great. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Cindy says, speaking of thrifting... I got another mini dash at the thrift store. Nice. I think I paid $4.99. Yes. Now I have two. Nice. Uh, let's see. Lynette says, did someone mention an amazing barbecue sauce with the Kyo oh, Chow? Yes. And put the link to Heath's Thank recipe. Thank you. This guy says, I've been checking on Keto Mojo for the last week and constantly have been in a moderate level of ketosis. So, yeah. ketones in the house. Ketones in the house. 
Uh, let's see, Lashana says, are you talking about human growth hormone? No, it's HCG, human coronorogonadotrophin. But that is the, the chemical that you have when yeah. you're pregnant. That's what... Not to get into it, but mm -hmm. the reason they even started that was they noticed, I think it was in India, that pregnant women who were severely malnourished mm -hmm. did not lose muscle mass mm. be and they the hypothesis was because of hcg yeah and so they would give you hcg to try to preserve your muscle mass and then while put you on a really we're talking like 200 calories a day yeah, which at yeah, that point you might as well fast i mean let's be honest well it's better to fast your body knows what to do with fasting <laughs> your body does your know body what to do with fasting. thinks you're starving when you take away all of its food and yep. just give it a little bit yep um, Lashana said, did HCG even work for weight loss? I don't know. I, I don't remember. I would rather eat a lot of meat. <laughs> Shauna says, it yeah, now Dash. did for a while. Shauna has a problem with Dash. I have nine different ones now, including a Grogu and a Texas-shaped one. Why do you have a Texas-shaped one? That's because crazy. Because everybody should have Texas in their uh, life. Danny says, I'm late. Hope everyone's doing well. So far, so good. Um, let's see, Sky says, I've noticed at my moderate level of ketosis, I'm much sharper mentally, mm -hmm. which in my work is very helpful. Now, that's another very interesting application yeah. for higher ketones. Yep. If you are, like, in a class. Or taking a test. Or taking a test, or driving mm -hmm. long distance. Yep. Having the higher ketones, I don't see that as a, as a negative. Now, I personally would rather do that by fasting or mm -hmm. using coconut oil or MCT oil then taking exogenous ketones. Yep. But that's me. But that's one of the reasons why I like keto so much is because my brain feels sharper on a regular basis. Yep. I can tell if I've had too many snacks or if I've eaten too late at night or something and then I wake up and I just can't turn at the street. I'm like, I'm going to look down You're the laggy. road. You're laggy. like... Tick, tick, I'm going tick, to ding. look down this way. Oh, a car is coming. I <laughs> guess I'll wait for my life to end. No, I'm just kidding. Bunny says hi from Oak Arbor, or Harbor, sorry, in Washington. My first live chat. Love you too, and your amazing keto chat. Oh, thank Welcome. you, Bunny. Thanks for saying hi. Let's see. Cindy has a dash mini griddle. Nice. It's like for an egg or ham or something. I don't use it at all. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, lots of dash love indeed. Oma says, I, ha I like the chaffle with keo chow for breakfast about once a week. Uh, exchange student says, ooh, I know. You helped me uh, do hot ham and cheese on the dash. Yes. Burger. Yes. That sounds a freaking amazing. Okay. On, was it Friday night? Oh. Or was it no, Saturday night? No, that was lunch. Night? That was the one day we ate lunch. Oh, we came back from, we hadn't been doing lunch very often. Did we do our scuba dive? Yeah, we did the scuba dive. We came back. This is when we were camping this last week. Right, right. And we had a we big package, package of pastrami. And so Steve laid out a bunch of ham and then put cheese on it mm -hmm. and then pastrami on it. And then we took big things of lettuce and, and just... Oh, it, it was so amazing. It was hot, a mess. But it hot was pastrami. It, it, was, it was a total mess. Swiss cheese and pepper jack cheese and pastrami and ham. Yep. Grilled on the grill. <laughs> Swang says, nerd, nerd, nerd. Right. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see, Joe Ray is here. Hi, Joe Ray. Cindy Hi, says, Joe Ray. Uh, let's see, our friend Auntie, yeah, bought a mini, mini bunt pan electric one. It's hard to explain, but I found that it was heavy and I quit almond flour anyway. I just need to experiment. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Oh, so Shauna got it from Renee. Oh. Now I she's an honorary Texan. Forever. Renee, okay, so Jeannie you? says, no, my doctor did not put me on ketones. Okay. I've been doing this through a company. Prove it that I'm really glad I stumbled across you guys. And how do I contact you? Uh, go keto chow at XYZ. Mm -hmm. Also, our stuff costs a lot less. Yes. Um, we actually have a page on our site. Um, okay, let's see if Where I can. Where is it? I love doing these live. Um, also, you should go to our, our if you're on Facebook, we have a Facebook support group. It's literally called Keto Chow Facebook Support Group. And a lot of people that are on this chat are in there. And then we have a lot of support that's there. You could just ask a random question. And so many people will be able to answer you there, too. So it's a really um, great place to, Where is to find. That? I don't know what you're looking for. I have an FAQ on our site. Huh. Let's see. I'm sure it's somewhere. 
Keto <laughs> Chow. You keep looking. I'll keep talking. Prove it. So yeah, Keto Chow Facebook support group. And you can actually, on our website, you know how he was showing the rewards program at the corner of the left side? So it would be the, that side for you guys. On the opposite side, there's a little bubble that says, have a question, chat with us huh. right now. And so you can click on I'm that and you can write to the customer service team. And then you can ask questions and different things there. We have an awesome yeah. support team. So Anyway, there, there is a page on our site that compares the nutrition in mm -hmm. Slim Fast, Prove It, right, and a bunch of right, other right, ones. Right. So uh, anyway, let's see. Shinshin says, I did a workout while listening, but my toes are still frozen. Oh, no. Guess you need to work um, out some more. Yeah, Radical Geek says, MCT oil for me. That it, yep. It's a good way to, if you need to bump up your ketones. Mm -hmm. It costs a lot less than exogenous ketones. Yep. And you know what? Our our daughter has depression. She does MCT oil, she does coconut oil, and she does exogenous ketones, mm -hmm. but she doesn't do it all the time and she doesn't do all three of them. And she's all not trying the time. to lose weight either. She just has depression pretty bad and sometimes when she knows she's going to she feels that she's going to go low, um, I, I don't know, go low. It's not that's not the right word. She's going to crash like mm -hmm. mentally. She'll go get some ketones. If she's running out of <laughs> neurotransmitters. Es especially if she has something to do that she wants to do, but she knows she's not going to be able to function yep. super well. She'll be like, I got to go do this thing with my friends. I really want to go, but I feel like I'm crashing. So then she'll try to, it like helps her, picks her up a little bit. Yep. So, yeah. Shauna says, did we make a Utah burger? No, it was just a bunch mm -hmm. of cheese and meat melted and it was delicious. It was probably healthier than a Utah burger though. <laughs> <laughs> Mutre says, well, Steve can cook for me anytime. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Babu says, can you do keto chow if you're doing one meal a day? Mm -hmm. Will it sustain you and give you all the nutrients you need? So each serving of keto chow gives you a third of a day's worth of nutrition. Yep. So you could, now there's a couple ways you could do OMAD, one meal a day, yep incorporating keto chow. Mm -hmm. You can do it the crazy way, which I've done it before, which is you have a keto chow, wait an hour, have a keto chow, wait an hour, have a keto chow. So you're just narrowing your eating window, right? Very narrow eating I window. I haven't done it that way. I would prefer to have a keto chow and then a steak or something like that. Like a, like a That's meal. That's how most people Spread will do it, it out on your plate, really enjoy it, have that as kind of like your dessert portion. Have it as a part of as your part one of your, meal a day. Or even a half yeah. of a keto chow or something like that, but. You could do more. Because if you did one serving of keto chow, and that was all you had for the day, you would not have that. That would food. not be a good idea. Mm -hmm. So you could mix two together, and then have a big one, and then like an hour later have a plate of food. But also, yep. like, how much can you eat at one time? <laughs> uh, Sky says the Facebook page is also filled with fun experiments and recipes that members yes. are working on or have tried and want to share. Thank you. Oh, well, that point. Pointed, uh, posted the thank you. Yeah, how does keto chow compare to other meal replacements like Prove It Keto OS? Thank you. That's so. exactly what we couldn't find. Ooh, Whoa. <laughs> that's fun. That is fun. Wow, I can't read that. It's so tiny. Yep. So, and there is a more in-depth analysis on this blog post, which from uh, Ancient of Days. Yeah, which actually has like breakdowns of the different mm -hmm. ones. So. Bye, Chris. Yep, by me. Okay, let's see. Oh, matreya has been here, just been doing work stuff. Thanks, Matreya. Uh, let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Thanks, Lynette. Sean says, anybody know what causes freezing cold hands? Being cold, among other things. Yes. But, yeah, I'm uh, not sure. Circulation problems. We actually went into the doctor with Haley. She was having an allergic reaction to something, and that was the doctor wasn't very helpful. He's like, take some allergy pills. Oh, great. Um, but he... But the nurse was say was saying that she is having circulation problems, but that doesn't surprise Haley because she already knows that because her hands are always cold and they're always cold. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> SB says I wasn't hungry until I saw pastrami. Mm. Now Tanya says thank you for sharing about your daughter and depression because my son also deals with depression. Yeah. I'll have him try MCT oil. I have had it since 2017. Yeah. If it's... you're interested in you ketogenic diets and all the, that related stuff and depression, check out some of the podcasts that mm -hmm. Carrie Brown has been on. Yes. Uh, two amazing. keto dudes. Mm -hmm. When they, they first did the interview with her and just kind of did her story, yeah. was really, really it's good. Really good. I think they actually did a two part. Um, 
In fact, I listened to that while I was in Connecticut. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. My phone. I love her. So. My, I, my, I was updating my phone and it didn't work and I had to go buy a phone from some dude on Craigslist. Yeah, so, that was dumb. And I listened to that <laughs> podcast while you were driving. while I was driving yeah. to and from the, the right That aid. was silly. <laughs> anyway, um, Sky says, yeah, being a neurodiverse person, I do much better when it, in a reasonable level of ketosis. Yes. Changes my entire outlook on life. Yes. Wow, there you go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, LaShawn says, I just got my physical in January. Yes. Everything was good. Awesome. Um, Betsy says, BC of keto and keto chow, I'm all, because. Oh, because of both my antidepressants, yes. still do self-talk, but I'm so much better. You got to wow. do self-talk and you, you got to be honest with yourself because if you lie to yourself, that's not helpful. Uh, yep. But yeah, if you need, you need to be honest and make yourself realistic expectation also, or you're going to be disappointed and you don't want to do that. Uh, Lisa wants to know how Kate uses MCT oil. Uh, we just put like a tablespoon into like a zip fizz. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Visual Kia says, I've always had cold hands and feet, and I have low thyroid. Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Brenda wants to know. Okay. So I've never had this issue before. The grape and the butter doesn't want to mix. Oh, and the new I use grape butter flavor. with all my keto chows. For some reason, this packet of grape didn't want to mix. So it tastes okay, just not as smooth. Mm -hmm. I don't know if other have ha others have had this, this issue with, with the grape. grape. So we did notice that it is a little bit squirrelier than our regular flavors, but typically if your water is too hot, then it'll separate more when it's cold or if it's too cold. Uh -huh. So you kind of have to get it like warm, but not like, I don't know, warmer than room temperature, but not hot like coffee hot. Yeah. To make it work. And if it does separate, just heat it up in the microwave. And then you can throw a couple ice cubes in and drink it. Yep. So, and here's actually a blog post where I I tested that. People mm -hmm. were reporting that with the yep. peanut butter and with the grape. Yep. And yeah, it did separate by density. Uh, shaking it up fixed it. Mm -hmm. You can also heat it back up again. And it, it yeah, and, and on this page, and, and there's actually a link to this page in the description of tonight's live stream. Okay, thanks. Um, where it talks about, hey, here's some of the problems, and here's how you can fix it, all that sort of stuff. So, yep. Um, anyway, yeah, let's see. Yeah. Uh, Sky says Carrie Brown is awesome. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. And uh, who who was the new person here? Lynn. Oh, no, I can't remember. Jeannie. Jeannie. Go Jeannie. follow Carrie Brown yes. on her Check Facebook pages. Uh, that's kind of a common name. Uh, what's her What's her page called? Let me see. Lynette, maybe you can find it for me. Kitchen? Keto Kitchen with Carrie Brown? Bah, where's my phone? Yep. This guy says, oh, maybe specific numbers would be better. So here you go. It's in there. 100 oh. degrees. 100 degrees. When you use a water of a good moderate temperature around 100 degrees, tests were performed, the separation was just different densities. And I think even fixed. less than that is still fine. Yeah. I don't think it is. Um, if you use degrees. hotter than that, like 140 degrees, mm -hmm. it tends hot. to deactivate the, the xanthan gum. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we've been on for quite a while. Yeah, we should go And to bed. Jessica's got to go to bed. So, good night, Jessica. you ready to sign off, Miriam? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thanks, everybody, for joining us. And I hope you have a fantastic day. And we'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah. So. Bye. All right, bye.